Hi there. Welcome to my channel. My name is Sheila. I'm the owner of Seaside Snuggles QPC on Etsy. In this video, we're going to be putting together my new pattern, the 24 inch double outline five pointed star. I hope you will join me. If you like what you learn, please give me a like and a subscribe because I will have more videos up in the future and I would love to see you there. Let's get started. This is the pattern piece. This is not a paper piece pattern. It's just a regular um, pattern with templates. So this is the pattern piece. The single pattern piece that you'll need to cut, you'll need to cut five of them. And I've already started sewing, so I apologize for that. But you need to cut five of these pieces. They look like this for your five star points. And then you'll also cut some other strips out per the instructions. And this is just me having the first side sewn on to the edge of three of the points. I already have two of the points put together to give you kind of a preview of where we're going. So this is one section of the star put together. This is an applique pattern with a turned edge instead of a raw edge. And um, it should end up around 24 inches wide by 23 inches tall. Okay, so I'm gonna just go through these steps in case you need a little help. And I've already sewn on the first part and I pressed it to the outside. The pressing direction on this pattern is very important because it'll help you to align the final star in the end. So for the second side of the star, uh, you're gonna need your next length strips, which are here. And actually I needed one more of these. So let me cut one more of these so I can chain piece. Chain piecing is your friend. You can do all five points um, at the same time, going row by row. You just cut a piece off of here. I didn't cut all my pieces initially like I should have, so. Let's get this cut. There we go. All right, so for the second piece on each of these star points, the way we're gonna place them is we're going to align the straight strip on the long edge of the star point so that the intersection, let me get my seam ripper, is around a quarter inch away. So if I scooch this down a little bit, that's about a quarter of an inch where you can see that uh, white piece peeking out there. That's where your stitches are gonna go. So that's when you're aligning strange angles, as long as you remember that your stitches should be where the pieces of fabric meet, then you can sew pretty much any angle, okay? So this is how we're gonna line it up. We have a lot on this end, and um, it's a little bit more than you need, but you do need more down here so that when you unfold it, you have a full point, okay? So that's how we're gonna line up all of these pieces. I'm just gonna stick one pin in each one of these, just right at the beginning, so that I can chain piece these. So I'm just gonna kinda eyeball where a quarter of an inch is for that intersection. There is a little room for, for error there, so you don't have to stress too much. All right. So these are all pinned, and now I can take them to the machine and sew, and uh, I'll take you with me. So we're just gonna chain piece these three pieces. Um, you would do all five pieces. Start out easy, remove your pin before you get to it. Make sure all lined up. And so a little bit 
but not off. We're not cutting it. We'll put the next piece in. You might want to slow down as you come to the seam so that you don't get pushed out of line. So you can stay lined up at the edge. One more. And that arc. These are all biased edges on the um, diamond odd diamond shape, heavy diamond teardrop shape. Yeah, that's what we call it. They're all biased edges, so be careful not to stretch them. Sewing these strips on that are cross grain or along the grain, however you choose to cut them, will help to stabilize each side. So, and I'm going to press these seams open and then I'll meet you at the cutting board. Okay, so our star points are all ironed and I want you to see that I've ironed the second strip towards the star point. So the first one is away from the star point, the second strip is towards the star point. So if you look at it from the back, they're both going in the same direction. Okay, next thing we're going to do is we're going to trim down this first strip because it's small. I didn't want you to have to work with two small pieces of fabric. We're going to trim this down to half an inch beyond the fold, lined up with the fold. And then we're going to trim the first side also to half an inch beyond the fold. Be careful with the tips. See how it wants to like kind of fold in there. So just be aware of that. Realign yourself and make sure that you're not getting extra on there. There we go. Okay. So this is what we have. It's got just half an inch beyond the fold. If this is wasteful for you, I feel like it's easier to keep this part straight by having this extra but you can go ahead and cut your pieces a quarter inch smaller than the pattern says if you feel comfortable working with the smaller pieces and are trying to really conserve uh, some fabric. So half an inch from the fold. Half an inch from the fold. You might want to start at the point because it we'll want to wave out there. Okay, and you'll do all five of these, but I'm doing three because I already have two points of the star complete. So, cutting. And half an inch here. Starting at the point, cut back. Okay, so those are my three points. This is my waist. We're not going to cut uh, fabric away like that on the other rounds. So round four is we're going to add a piece of background to each of these. Two, three. And we're going to add these to the left side. Oh, something you might also want to do is go ahead and cut your bottoms as well so they're aligned. So just line it up with your existing edge and just cut away that little bit of fabric. Just line it up. Be very careful not to cut any of the, the blue in this case away because you want your star to come together correctly. If anything, cut a little bit longer than the blue because you'll have a final cut before you assemble the star as well. So this is just to help you align 
the next rounds and ensure that you have enough fabric at the tip. Alrighty then. Okay. Now, shake a shake a. Get my little dog ears off of there. All right, so the next round is gonna go on the left side. We're moving left to right, left, right, left, right. And it's gonna go on there. And the way we're gonna line it up is the same way we did before. Is we're gonna have that, in this case, blue, cross at about the quarter inch mark which should be like where the blue is, like they should come together because you have a half an inch there, right? So if this is a quarter inch seam allowance, then you have quarter inch on the other side. Okay, and I'm gonna put a little pin in there. And I'm probably gonna sew it from the other side, but I'm still gonna put the pin on this side. Okay, and I'll sew it from this side. Just my own personal preference. You can sew it however you like, as long as it's on the side that has a intersecting seam, right? So you're gonna line it up so that your little peak of blue crosses right where your seam allowance from the last seam is. Get it lined up, put a little pin in there. It's ready for the machine. And last one. All right, so I'm gonna sew these, and then we'll be back. Dog's looking a little weird there. Okay, so I get a good start. There we go. I'll take my pin out. Make sure that I'm lined up with that edge. Like you have to rush make sure that your seam allowance stays in the direction that you want it to which is going to be that way in this case so to the edge next one let's try sewing this way get it lined up here first so you can see the point right that might be easier for some people. And this way you can clearly see that it can be done either way. You don't have to worry so much about the seam allowance being in the right direction on this side. But you do have to be a little concerned about this uh, seam allowance getting in your way. So it's up to you. It works either way. I think I'm going to go back the other way. I prefer it that way myself. So this last one, get myself started. Okay, so we're pressed again and we're ready to trim this up and we're gonna trim it up the same way we did on the other round is we're going to align the edge of this strip and cut the tip and you might as well go ahead and cut this while we're at it remember cut a little bit more rather than less you don't want to cut away any of the original piece of fabric because that will be very important to getting your star to line up correctly in the end Cut all three of these. We're going to line up this side. That way. And then we're going to line up this side. Cut these strings off at the same time. And one more. 
again you'll be doing five. So now we need to add the right side on, we're with the blue again. We're going to line them up the same way. So this one, the seam allowance is pressed in towards the star point, so you don't have that same uh, marker, but you're going to eyeball it like you did the first one, where it's about a quarter of an inch. Uh, this intersection is about a quarter of an inch. In. You want the majority of your strip on this end because you'll need it when you fold it out to finish the tip of your point. So if you do it incorrectly one time, you'll you'll figure it out. But if I were to, let's say that I were to line it up like this so that my point here is lined up with the end. When I fold this open, I'm not gonna have enough fabric to make finish the tip of the star. So it's very important that you line this up correctly so that it's near the, what will be the center of the star. And then you have your excess on this end. And this is gonna be cutting it pretty close, it looks like, as it is. Might add a little bit in the pattern. Okay, so that's two, and here's three. Oh, and this um, blue piece was pressed to the outside, so all of my seams are going in the same direction still. So we're ready to go back to the machine, and so again, I'll meet you over there. Let me try. And just take your time. and then we'll meet you after. Okay, so here's where we are now with the three pieces. I've pressed the seam allowance to the left, so all the seam allowances are going to the same direction at this point, which will be to the left with the star point face up, okay? Now, the next step is gonna be the opposite of this, the next two steps, but so far everything is going to the left and we're going to trim this the way we've trimmed the other pieces so we're going to get the star point by lining up with the edge and 
You may be missing a little bit of the point, but this is okay, okay, because that's going to be in the seam allowance. I may add a little bit more onto the pattern just for comfort's sake. So this cut should be made at uh, one inch. And remember to get the bottom edge, which I didn't on this first piece. All right. Let's put this here. So you're going to have a little bit of a bit of a blunted edge there, but I think what I'll do is in the pattern just add a half an inch on just so that you have a little more space to maneuver. All right. So now we have the background sewn on all of our star points. The next thing we need to sew on is our folded piece of white. So we have two lengths of white. One, I've had you press all the way. Um, if you're using single-sided fabric instead of two-sided fabric, then you want to press it so that the wrong sides are together. And I'll do another um, sew along where I'm just not going to teach. I'm just going to sew it but so that you can see a definite right and wrong side to the fabric. But this is how we're going to get our folded over edge on our applique star. So for this, what you want to do is we're going to start on the left side. We're going to line this up like we have the other pieces. It's easier to see from the back side. Quarter inch. But again, I like to sew from this side. So the raw edges of your folded piece go along the raw edge of your star point. This piece you have plenty of room so you don't have to uh, worry too much about getting exactly at a quarter inch because you'll have plenty on this end. Alright, so we'll line that up, raw edges, and put a pin in there. All right, the other thing that we need to do, I'm gonna set that aside. I'll set them right there so you can look at them, is we have another set of these strips and in the instructions I have you just fold the beginning edge and that's because you're gonna be turning it inside out. So if you have um, fabric with a definite right side or wrong side, these are gonna be folded right sides together, okay? They're going to be folded right sides together, and then you need some type of marking utensil, pencil or um, whatever your preference is. And then what you're going to do is you're going to take the pattern, and you're going to take your piece of fabric, and you're going to line it up so that the fold is lined up with the right side of the pattern, and then you're going to make a line on the left side of the pattern. That is going to be a stitch line for you. Okay, so you're going to do that on all five of these partially folded right sides together strips. Okay, and I'll show you that one more time. So you're going to have the fold to the right, and then you're going to place the right side of the pattern on the fold and give yourself a sew line. Okay. What we're going to do with this is we're going to sew right on top of this line. Mm, I hope you can see that's kind of bright. Um, you're going to sew right on top of the line on these what will be five pieces for you, but there's three pieces for me because I already have two pieces done. So in this trip to the sewing machine, we're going to sew these pieces together and we're going to sew this diagonal line. Okay? I'll see you at the sewing machine.
Okay, I decided to do the right thing and change out my thread. So I've got white thread in now. And we're going to sew these first side of the last outline on. The same way that we sewed the other ones, except that this time it is folded. So we have three layers of fabric that we're sewing through. feel like they're getting out of control, just sew down your sew ski and take the time to check and make sure that everything is aligned frequently and um, you'll do great. And don't sweat the small stuff, you know. This is supposed to be fun. Okay, I've got one more. You'll have two more. I'll just lift my presser foot to get this last one in. Get my pin out. Get myself lined up. Those are those three pieces, and now I need to sew on the sew line for these other pieces that uh, we marked. So I'm just going to sew right on top of the line that I marked on all three of these. Right on top of the line from the raw edge to the fold. If you feel like you're getting a misaligned, stop and just get yourself lined up. If you have a stiletto or something and you feel more comfortable getting your fingers in there, then by all means use that. Alright, so these are the pieces that we have sewn and now we're going to go to the iron and I'll meet you at the cutting board. Okay, we're back and we've got one side of the outermost um, outline sewn on and we've pressed this one in. So all the seams up until this point have been pressed to the left. This seam we're pressing to the right and it's going to form a raised strip. This blue strip is what I'll consider raised because the seam allowances are coming together underneath that side of the star point. When we do the other side we're going to fold it, the seam allowance, out and that will form a channel so that when we place our star points together, the raised point will go into the channel and keep us aligned really nicely. This will work out. It's like magic. You'll be so happy that you um, pressed your seam allowances in the correct fashion. So let's go ahead and trim these points. Same way we have the previous lines. This is going to be one inch from the white. And I'm just going to cut away that edge. And I'm not even going to bother with the bottom edge just yet, since this is our last iteration of adding strips. So that's one inch, give that a trim, and if you look at here, this one's going to be close. I'm going to have to pay attention to this because I looks like I tugged my fabric in right there, so I'm going to be really close at the quarter inch seam allowance. So I'm going to just cheat in a little bit here so I make sure I catch that in the seam. And last but not least. Okay, so we have these three points that need one more side, 
and we have these pieces that we sewed I use white so now you can't see but that we sewed on the line that we marked we stitch right on top of that line and what you want to do is take some scissors and cut your seam allowance to about just less than a quarter of an inch parallel to the line the seam and then at the tip you want to cut another angle off that gets it at about an eighth of an inch from the stitch line now I didn't back stitch here on the edge where the raw edge is but it is something you might want to consider is back stitching here if you don't you're going to need to be very delicate when you do the next part which is turning this point inside out and to do that I start it with my fingers and you can see my stitches are starting to come apart a little bit so I do recommend back stitching. I'm just gonna pull them tight there. Then I use a chopstick and I gently working along the fold in the back instead of putting stress on my seam, I gently turn that point out. I'm just kind of running the chopstick along the back side of the fabric to kind of easily work that point out, okay? So there I have my point. And the next thing you want to do is take this to the, to the iron and fold this whole thing over and iron it flat so that it looks like these pieces. Okay, so they're ironed flat and they got their points and this point turned out much better than the other points, but it's fine, right? So it's ironed flat, you have a sharp crease. Now what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your star point and you're going to take this piece and the way it's going to go on is this way which means you're going to have to line this up so that this seam aligns with this fold and it's just like the other angle as long as you have it so that it comes together a quarter inch this V is at a quarter inch from the sew edge then your seam will come together perfectly. All right, so I'm just gonna line that up at a quarter inch and put a pin in there. Okay, so the fold is on top of the star point. The raw edges are together. You have three raw edges here and you have this V at a quarter inch away from the raw edge. So do that on all of your points. This one I'm just going to finger press instead of going to the iron, but do go to the iron. I highly recommend that you iron between all of these steps instead of just trying to finger press just for accuracy's sake. Sorry, that's off the screen, so I just finger press that. And again, I'm going to put it so that the V is at a quarter inch. Put a pin in there and do the last one. So that that V is at a quarter inch. And this is the most important one to really have accurate. So if you need to mark a quarter of an inch, do that. That's a great idea. All right. And so all of these are now ready to be sewn, and I'll do that, and then we'll be back. Okay, so I have these V-notches, and when I start my sewing, I'm going to get my threads underneath there. My needle's going to go right on top of that V. And I'm going to give it a couple of stitches and make sure that the right side of my presser foot is at a quarter foot inch. And that's like my verification before I start sewing. I'm gonna give it a couple stitches, take my pin out, and then I'm gonna just take my time. I apologize, this camera keeps cutting off on me and I don't know what the problem is. But I'm in the process of sewing this last side onto the start points. Once I get these sewn, I'll check that the memory card's not full. That could be the problem, because the battery's fine. Okay. Last 
one. Put that needle down, it should go right into the V if you're lined up correctly with your presser foot. And line up your edges. And so. board after I iron these um, with the seam going to the right. All right, so this one, the seam is going to go to the right. I'll meet you over there. So um, our three points are now sewn. All the stripes are together and now we need to trim it up. So we're going to just trim up the bottom. And the way we're going to do that is we're going to refer to our pattern piece and we're going to stick it down and make sure that the angle is still right, still what we intended. Okay, that's pretty good. And then we're going to cut our edges away here and here. It's a little weird. I did something weird there. All right. And then on the back side, you see we pressed this last seam to the outside. You have a little dog ear here that you can go ahead and trim down. But it will be hidden behind your applique. And you've got nice folded edges. So you can trim that dog ear down. I don't know if I was in frame. And then you have these nice folded edges on either side of your start point. They're turned, so you don't have to worry about them fraying on your quilt. Get my little strings here. Okay. And we're going to trim all three of these uh, start points. Are you really okay? I'm recording, but it's okay. <laughs> you need me? Okay, baby. All right. Isn't he sweet? Making sure he's not going to make too much noise while I'm in here recording. Okay, so I'm back to my pattern, checking my edges, and just going to trim that up. And same thing on this side. Get that lint off. Don't these look good? These are nice, nice points. Last one. Again, referring to my pattern piece. That's why there's two on there, just in case you accidentally chop one up. <laughs> that looks good on the bottom. So it's just a matter of lining up the edge and cutting away the excess. Ooh, sorry for kicking the camera. So now all of our points are ready, and then uh, we'll put this together after I change the battery. Okay, so I've laid out my star points, so you can kind of see um, how the star is going to go together in all of our pieces. <clears throat> Everything is ironed and trimmed. This star point is a little wonky, but I'm just going to go with it. I can work that out when I applique it to whatever I use it in. So this side, you can see, is already... Um, sewn together and you can see how nicely the stripes go together that's because of the way that we pressed our seam allowances so we're going to sew this side together the same way we sewed this one together we're going to put them right on top of each other and we're going to line up our points and then all of our seams because of the way we pressed let's see if i can get this up close enough because of the way we pressed our seam allowances all of our seams are going to nest so that everything will line up really nicely and I still use the pins and I pin a quarter inch from the edge but you can feel with your fingers that all of these are nested and because we 
press have the seam allowances going to the left when we sew the seam allowances are going to be up which will press these seams together with the seams that they're nested with on the bottom it gives you a really nice finish here we have a channel where the seams are pressed out and on the other side they're pressed in so it kind of locks it into this channel to keep that lined up it really works out nicely but I still use the pins just as a double check especially on this one where the seam allowance is going uh, in the direction of my sew line okay so once I have my three intersections pinned I'm going to check and make sure that I'm coming together correctly at the edge where it's a quarter inch and here in the middle all right so we're going to take this to the machine and we're going to sew that and then it will look like this but the difference is on this piece I have the seam allowance going down. When I have this sewn together, I'm going to press it with the seam allowance going up. Okay, so let's go ahead to the machine and sew this together. And we're going to sew the whole seam. As we approach the first pin, we're going to slow down and take it out before we sew over it. Second pin, take that out. Third pin, just kind of creep up on it. It gets, you're going to end up with much more fabric right there at the end. So go ahead and come up there slowly, get your ends patched up finish up your seam. So let's see what we have here. Kind of those extraneous streams. And that looks pretty good. Right? Alright, I'll meet you at the cutting board. Alright, well you see how nicely these lines came together? I got a little bit of overhang here, but it is fine. This is going to look great on whatever I decide to sew it on to. So the next thing is our Y seam, and it's called a Y seam because it comes together in the shape of a Y. And some people feel pretty challenged by this, but uh, this is gonna be easier than you think. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna sew our two sides of the star together. We're gonna put the right side on top of the left, and the seams that we just sew together since we sewed the right side up and the down side, the right side up and the left side down, these seams nest, right? And you're going to start the seam at a quarter inch in and where those seams come together. So, let's see if it'll show with this white pin. If I were to measure with my ruler a quarter inch in from the seam Let's see if that will show because I lost my piece of chalk it's coming in a little bit so right there is my quarter inch from this edge and I want it to intersect with the seam that I've already made because they're nested that's where I'm going to start my stitching on this Y seam and I'm going to stitch all the way down. So I'm going to go ahead and place a pin right there to mark where I start. And I'm going to start with a little back tack and then I'm going to sew all the way down. And all of my seams here should match just like they did on the other legs. They all nest together. It's so nice that you don't have to worry about uh, matching up your stripes because everything is nested. Okay, so we've sewn our two halves together. We've got it sewn a quarter inch from the top. Our side seams come in together and they match up perfectly. And on the back, we've sewn this seam open. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and clean up a little bit of thread here. All 
right. So now we're going to sew the left side of our Y in this Y seam. We're going to lay the star down. We're going to orient our top point and we're going to match it up with the left hand side. All of these seams are going to nest just like they did on the other legs. So go ahead and get your pins and pin all of these seams a quarter inch away, I hope I'm not getting my head in there, a quarter inch away from the edge and everything should match up nicely just like you did for the other legs. You've got three pins that you want to get here where these seams nest. Okay, and now you're getting to the center. And your center should end, I should have marked this first, a quarter inch in from each side you'll end up with an X. And I apologize for you not being able to see these white marks. I'm almost out of ink here. But right here. So I measured a quarter inch from each side here and this is where my center needs to end up. My center seam. So that's what I want to line up with my center seam. I'm going to take a pin. I'm going to put it right through that hole. And then I'm going to put it through, whoop, just open up that seam. Okay, so I'm going to put it through that hole. And then I'm going to put it right through where all of these seams come together. Right there. I'm just grabbing a little bit of fabric because that fabric is open right there. And then I'm going to pull it out and just secure it. Okay, so I'll be sewing from matching the side all the way down and then I'm going to stop with my needle down right where the, that pin goes into the fabric. Okay, so I will meet you at the sewing machine. Okay, I hope this records. So we're going to start the Y seam sure my threads are out of the way. Make sure my edges are matched up. And I'm going to put my presser foot down. And I'm going to give myself a couple of stitches in that. All right. Then I'm going to get lined up with the edge and I'm going to sneak up on that first pin. Take that out. Pin. Take that out. And the next pin. Take that out. And then we're going to sew to the, this spot right here. And as we approach it, we're going to slow down. Make sure everything's out of the way. So we don't sew anything that together that shouldn't be sewn together. And get to that pin. Oh, <laughs> that was very right on top of it. All right, so my needle is down, and I'm going to take this top star point and rotate the star beneath it with the pin with the needle down. And then I'm going to line up these edges, and all these seams are going to nest as well. And I could pin them, but I'm not going to. I'm going to sew myself out of this corner first. There we go. And then I'm just going to feel that these are nested. Okay. And this one, I am going to give a little pin because 
the seam is pointing down instead of up. I just want to make sure it comes together nicely. Because the same way it'll push it in if it's facing up, it might push it out when it's facing down. So that's uh, one thing to remember. All right, I'm right on top of that pen. And give it a little back to me here. So off. So nervous, so nervous. All right, I will meet you at the cutting board and we will do a big reveal together and see how it turned out. Hopefully it turned out okay. Okay, this is the moment of truth. We're gonna start, we're gonna look at the back side first. So this is the part we just sewed in. This is the um, star point that we just sewed in. This is our open seam. So this is our Y seam. And from the back, it looks, it looks okay. Looks like I might've gotten something a little folded. A moment of truth. Oh, not bad, not bad. It needs a little iron, but all of these intersections have came together wonderfully. And my center doesn't look too shabby. All it needs is a steamy press and a little starch, and it'll be ready to put on my project. And this star finishes, let's see here. This is a 23 inch ruler, or sorry, 24 inch ruler. Let me get myself a little room here so I don't have to move the camera stand. So it looks like it is 23 and a half inches wide from tip to tip. And from bottom to the top, let's go right up that center. It is 22 and a half. So it's 23 and a half wide, 22 and a half tall. My math worked out. I'm pretty happy. So it's great. And I hope that this helped you. I'm going to go give this uh, one more iron and, uh, and I'll do one maybe with different colors instead of the team's star. Uh, we'll do one with different colors and double-sided fabric so that you can see um, what exactly happens. And when you sew this down, you can do whatever stitch you like. Uh, if you have little threads like here, you can just tuck them in as you go. But you have a turned edge all the way around so you don't have to worry about it fraying. And I hope this helps. And I hope you enjoy this pattern. And please let me see your pictures. Like and subscribe, you know, thumbs up, thumbs up or thumbs down. Let me know why. Please let it have to do with the pattern, though. And, uh, I will see you in the next video.